Hi, this is day number three of our tiny house build. And yesterday we attached some uh, half inch plywood to the outside of the framing of our trailer. So what we did, if you'll remember, we put some two by fours on the outside of the metal frame. And then we took uh, some four by eight sheets of plywood. We used OSB, you can use plywood or OSB. And we ripped them into three and a half inch strips that we have fixed all along the length of our trailer. And that's just to bump this out a little further so that we can maximize the width inside the house because we have to be eight foot six or less to be street legal. So we're bumping this out as far as we can. Uh, and the walls are gonna sit flush with this outside here. So uh, we ripped some plywood down to three and a half inches and affixed it to the two by fours here with inch and a half nails because we're going through an, a half inch of plywood and a two by four that's actually one and a half inches. So we don't want to hit that metal frame. Uh, so just use an inch and a half nails to affix that there. And we did that all around the entire frame of the trailer. And then we started putting our subfloor down on top of that. So today we're going to finish putting the subfloor down. So we finished the subfloor on our tiny house. We started in the front corner of the trailer, which is actually the back corner of the house, with a full four by eight sheet of three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood. And what we did was we measured in four feet from the side and snapped a chalk line down the entire length of the trailer, which was an idea we got from Andrew Morrison's build videos at tinyhousebuild.com. And uh, so we started here and just put four by eight sheets all the way to the front. And we had to make sure that we drilled out for these hurricane ties. So we drilled holes and set them right over the hurricane ties. And then around the wheel wells, you'll see we had to come in a little bit, cut a groove there so that we could fit in between the wheel wells. We went from the back all the way to the front. Then we came back to this other side and we cut a four foot sheet because we don't want the seams to line up. We want to offset them. So we started with a four foot sheet. We ripped the extra off the side and went on up the other side of the trailer all the way to the end. And then we secured these down with some subfloor glue and nails on the outside where we had those two by fours and the OSB, just nailed them around the perimeter. And then in the center here where these metal beams are on the floor, we used Tex self-tapping wood to metal screws to secure that down all the way across all of the floor beams here. So the next step is to put up our walls, frame the walls and then raise them up. So we are gonna go look at windows now so that we can make sure we frame those properly uh, to the correct dimensions before we try and frame up the walls. So that's the next step.